I'm Clementine Beauvais and I am the author of Piglets, um, which is a translation of one of my French books called um, Les Petites Reines, and today I am going to read to you uh, the beginning of the first chapter. Here we go. The pig pageant results have just come out on Facebook. I'm in third place. Bronze medal. How perplexing. After winning gold for two years in a row, I thought I'd never lose the top spot. I was wrong. I check who's won the grand title. She's a new girl in year 11. I've never met her. Her name is Astrid Blumba. She's blonde, pimply, and squints so much that you can only see half of her left pupil. The rest is tucked under her eyelid. The jury's choice is perfectly understandable. A little year eight has won silver, Hakima Idris. She is indeed very ugly too, with her black moustache and her triple chin. She looks like a pug. Our dear friend Malo has left comments on each of the 18 shortlisted girls' pictures. He paid special tribute to me. Competition was fierce, but Mireille Laplanche, whatever the final results, will always be to me the most legendary pig pageant winner. Her fat blubbery bum, her droopy breasts, her potato chip shaped chin and her tiny porcine eyes will remain imprinted in our memories forever. There were already lots of likes, 78. I added mine, 79. Then I tumbled downstairs into the living room and I said to mom, I won bronze this year, right? And what should I do, congratulate you? I don't know, would you rather I'd kept my gold medal? I'd rather you'd never won the pig pageant at all. Then maybe you shouldn't have slept with an ugly old man. Don't speak ill of your father. Maybe he'd be proud of me. He wouldn't be proud. I'm going to send him a letter. Don't send him a letter. Dear Daddy Darling, as yet another lovely school year draws to a close, your beloved daughter has won the bronze medal in the pig pageant organized annually at the Marie Dariussec High School in Bourg-en-Bresse. It is a happy disappointment, for she usually claims the top spot in that competition. Mireille, you're getting on my nerves. She rolls her eyes and confides in the habitat ceiling lamp. I don't like teenagers. <laughs>